Hello everyone, welcome to another Spaz Tech Tech Tip. Today we're going to spaz out about the Raspberry Pi and how to connect it to our, our computer uh, using VNC. Uh, so what VNC is is virtual network computing and what it does is it allows us to uh, remotely access the desktop, uh, the graphic user interface of our Raspberry Pi uh, remotely from a computer with no strings attached so we can free up the Pi from the uh, from a monitor or a keyboard or a mouse so if you have an application where you don't want to uh, yeah, connect all those things to the Pi and you want to uh, uh, allow it to move around or, or uh, uh, fit into a tight space uh, you can remote into it uh, using this uh, method and uh, and uh, control it completely remotely from your computer. And uh, today we're going to be using the Mac. Um, reason I'm making this video is uh, the online instructions I found to do this uh, did not work. Um, I try, uh, went to a couple different places and uh, tried to follow the step-by-step -step instructions. They just did not work for me. Maybe they work for you, but uh, I couldn't get them to work. Uh, but after a lot of trial and error and, and piecing things together from different places, I was able to get something to work, and so I want to share it with you. And uh, so that's what we're doing here, and uh, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, I'm going to go over just uh, some of the settings that I have uh, set up on uh, my Pi uh, for this video. Uh, first of all, uh, I have uh, Raspbian uh, installed on, on my Pi and it's configured to boot into the GUI desktop. Uh, I'm not sure if that's necessary or not, but uh, that's how I have mine set up. Uh, also, SSH must be enabled on the Pi, and I'll show you how to do that in a second. And, uh, the, and of course, the Pi must be powered on and connected to the same network that the computer uh, is on. Uh, so uh, if you have uh, uh, multiple networks uh, where you're at and the uh, computer's on one network and the Pi is on another network, this won't work. Um, so look, right now I'll show you how to uh, uh, make sure that the SSH is enabled and uh, even uh, to change this configuration up here, so boot into the GUI. Again, I don't know if that's necessary, but uh, that's how I have mine set up. Let's end, end the show, and uh, I'm already... Uh, logged into the Pi here, and don't worry, I'll show you how to do this uh, in a little bit. But I'm just doing it this way so you can see how to do this if you were actually on the Pi. So uh, you can open up a terminal window and then uh, just type sudo raspi config. Okay, hit enter, and it brings you up this window here. Uh, which you may have seen uh, when you uh, first set up your Pi. And you can use your arrow keys uh, to go down through here. And you want to go to Advanced Options. And uh, over here, uh, go to SSH. And uh, you, once you click on that, uh, you want to just make sure that Enable is, uh, is uh, selected there. And, then, and you can change that by hitting Tab but we want to make sure it's enabled and there it's uh, it's enabled okay so that's how you make make sure that the SSH is enabled and uh, what I was talking about earlier about uh, changing the boot settings uh, that's this option right here and uh, right here uh, you can you can set it up the default is that it's going to boot just to the command prompt um, but uh, I have mine set up to log in as Pi into the graphical desktop. And uh, then you j again, you just hit uh, enter and that happens just like that. And that's it. Um, hit tab again twice, hit finish, enter. Um, and uh, I'm going to hit this, but uh, uh, that's going to probably, I'm going to lose my connection here. and. Uh, and uh, but not to worry. We're going next. We're going to go over how to actually uh, remote into the desktop uh, like I'm doing here. All right. So these are a set of instructions that I was using to try to set up the VNC that uh, ended up not working. Uh, the first couple steps did work though. Uh, so the, those that would be to actually install this uh, this tight VNC onto the Pi. And you'll need to do this while actually uh, working on the Pi with the keyboard and the mouse and the monitor connected. Uh, so uh, you'll need to do this before uh, 
before following what I'm going to do here. So this line worked okay, and this line worked okay, and that's about as far as I got. Uh, next, I went and uh, went and downloaded uh, Real VNC, and I downloaded it for the Mac OS 10. And uh, once when, when that downloads, uh, you'll get it. Uh, uh, you get a few warnings that uh, about uh, security when you install it, but uh, it, I've been using it for a couple hours and haven't noticed any issues. Um, and there are there is a, a free license uh, available for that. It's just a bare bones options. Um, once you have that, then the first thing is to actually log into the Raspberry Pi remotely using um, SSH. And uh, you can do that, you go down, uh, if you're on the Mac, go down to Launchpad, and you've got, actually it'll come up something like this, and you click on your utilities, and you want to open up a terminal. And from the terminal, just type SSH, and then the IP address of your Pi, and this will be different for you. And in a minute, I'll show you how to find that uh, IP address for your Pi. And then you'll just replace these numbers with that. And what this is going to do is it's going to the, log us into the Pi under the username Pi. And it's going to ask us for a password. And now this, if, if you set up the password um, for the VNC, this is not the, the VNC password. This is the Raspberry Pi password that you want to uh, enter here. And if it, you're uh, not sure what that is, if you've never changed it, the default would be Raspberry. Okay, so that logs in. So this command prompt now, uh, that is a command prompt on the Raspberry Pi itself. Uh, so we are actually on our Raspberry Pi now, and we can uh, we can type things in here um, uh, just like we were if we were actually uh, uh, working on it directly. Um, the one limitation to this interface right here is that you cannot use the graphic user interface right here. Um, but I promised I'd show you mm -hmm. how to uh, promised I'd show you how to find your IP address, and this is how you do it. Just type in host name, ash capital I, and there you go. That's uh, so you can see that that's uh, uh, you, if you do that on your Raspberry Pi, uh, you'll come up with uh, a different number, and that's the number you'll want to use when you. Uh, when you SSH into it up here like I did up here. So just replace this number with what you come up with there. And of course, you'll have to do this before you try to remote into it and, uh, and that should work for you. Okay, so uh, the first thing I need to, the only thing that we need to do here before we actually access the graphic user interface is we need to start the VNC server. And uh, again, there's there are ways that you can do the uh, set this up to, to uh, happen automatically. I haven't done that yet, but this is easy enough where uh, you just type VNC server. And uh, and there you go. And so what oh, this is uh, started a, a VNC server on the Raspberry Pi. Now we can go over and open up uh, real VNC. And uh, da -da. install it over here. Double click on that. Okay, so I've already done this uh, once. Um, you'll again, you'll want, just want to put in your IP address and then a, a, a colon one. And you see uh, uh, now you'll you'll want to take a look at this over here. You see how this has the colon one after the Raspberry Pi. You'll want to do that same. Uh, same thing here. Now, if uh, if for example, you it's possible to set up multiple uh, servers here, and you might see a colon three or something, and I, I don't know. Uh, uh, if you see that, uh, then that's what you'll want to put here. Uh, but just go ahead and connect, and it'll give you a security warning. This isn't encrypted. Okay, continue. And now this is the password that you entered when you installed the the, the Type VNC uh, onto the Raspberry Pi. And there you go. Um, and it gave me another warning that it's not encrypted. 
But uh, there is my desktop. Now this desktop is the desktop of the Raspberry Pi, and uh, and that's all there is to it. Now I can I can do uh, anything in the Pi now, completely remotely from my Mac, and. Uh, you can open open up the terminal window. Of course, I could use a terminal window down here too. Um, uh, I I don't know why you'd want to do it, but you could even you could browse the internet from the Pi from uh, from your desktop. But <laughs> um, and uh, this is a uh, and this is uh, or or you can run other programs or uh, create a dashboard here. Maybe you're controlling some. Uh, some gadgets or something, but uh, that's it. That's how you uh, remote into a Raspberry Pi using VNC from the Mac. And uh, please uh, like the video uh, and subscribe. And we'll talk to you again next time.